Good morning. This is uh, Pastor Jimmy Miloria from Church of the Risen Christ. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Andito po tayo. I'm driving around SBMA boardwalk area. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a, it's a nice day to rejoice. The sun is shining. Ganda ng araw. The weather, you see mo yung hangin. It's quite um, malamig. Hindi mainit. It's a beautiful day. However, you have to understand that you don't have to wait for beautiful days in order to rejoice. Hindi kailangan hintayin na maging magandang araw bago ka maging masaya. Magiging masaya tayo base sa relasyon natin sa Panginoon. Because you could have a beautiful day and then a bad attitude. Or you could have a bad day and a beautiful attitude. Now, if you don't know, um, I was diagnosed with uh, stage 4 cancer. And uh, I've been fighting it now for uh, one year. I get one year, one year and a month. Quite difficult, challenging time. It's um, physically draining, emotionally draining. Also, to tell you the absolute truth, it's also uh, financial uh, no, challenge. It's a financial challenge. I spend uh, close to sixty thousand pesos a month. Just on treatment. That's just on treatment. Di kasama yung travel expense. Di kasama yung kasi yung treatment na ginagawa sa akin. Hindi po di di po sa Olonga po ay dun po sa Pampanga sa Park area. So I have to, to travel twice a week, and uh, that's how much I spend. And then of course. Tuloy, tuloy pa rin yung mga monthly expenses, mga bills. Hindi po nagbago yan. Pero if you base on my salary, talagang dun sa treatment pa lang, kulang na kulang. Kulang na kulang. So, you know, you have that uh, the issue of um, physical issue an emotional issues that you face and then the financial issue the sama no financial issue is that that isip ka nang nag-iisip na you know papani yung next treatment you know? but God has been providing God has been seeing me through and one thing God has been teaching me is to be happy. I've learned a lot in the past year. I've learned about a lot about God. I've learned a lot about His Word. <clears throat> and I've learned a lot about myself. And I realized ko na I wasn't as serious as I should sa aking relasyon sa aking, sa ating Panginoon. kailangan pa na magtiwala sa Panginoon. More trust. I thought, kala ko, okay na ako as a pastor. By the way, if you don't know, ako po ay pastor na for 35 years. Same church, Church of the Risen Christ started at a very young age and uh, started serving God straight out of high school. Paglabas ko ng high school, dire-diretso akong lingkod sa Panginoon bilang uh, full-time minister sa Panginoon. So for me to have cancer at 
the age of 50, but uh, you know, there's that feeling of it's not fair. But I come to realize now there are things in life, hindi talaga fair. You just have to learn how to be happy. So let me close with this. Si Pablo, the Apostle Paul, he was jailed. And when he was in jail, he wrote, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Talking to the church. And then, when he finally met King Agrippa, you know, find out what's going on. Alam niyo, the first words that he said to King Agrippa, sabi niya, I think myself happy. I think myself happy. Very powerful words to say for a man that suffered so much. So mga kapatid, when you go through difficult times, think yourself happy because there's a lot more reasons to be happy than there are to be sad. This is Pastor Jimmy Valoria and greeting you a happy day.